Alright, this is the fourth video in this series and we're going to be using Neutron 2's track assistant just to go ahead and put the final touches on this vocal take. And at the very end I'm going to go ahead and use a preset from FabFilters Pro R just to kind of round it out and make it sound phenomenal. Just to add that little bit of icing on the cake, you know what I mean? 2017 is going to be an incredibly difficult year to beat in my opinion. One of the best, as I said before, for plugins. Just incredible. 2018 though. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what these guys have in store for us. But before we do that, let's go ahead and wrap up this vocal project. All right, so in this video, we're going to take the cleaned and pitch corrected acapella and process it using Neutron 2's mix assistant. Again, we're just going for this automated style thing to see how well technology can get us close to the finish line. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop it on the channel. It's gonna pop open and with an acapella, it's a little bit picky about where's the best spot to run the track assistant. So I'm just gonna put it over here. This is a pretty energy intense part of the track. I'm just gonna go ahead and loop that part and let the track assistant analyze that particular section because if you put it in the beginning where it's kind of quiet, it's not gonna work for when it's really energy filled, like for the hook and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and run it and see what happens. I'm gonna click the track assistant and from here, again, I can come in and choose voice, but we're gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna do what it does and obviously it's gonna pick up that it's uh, vocal dialogue and I'm actually gonna leave it on balanced if you go warm or up front It's actually gonna add more of the Exciter to it. I believe and I don't really want that for this particular track I want it to be it already sounds really good in my opinion, so I don't want to process it too much I just want to add a little bit of compression and maybe some dynamic EQ to get rid of the the plosives and the sibilance that was maybe left over From uh, the processing we did earlier, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next It's gonna wait and I'm gonna go ahead and play it until the track assistant is done Vida se completam com a lua e o sol. Eu adoro amar você. Não há nada melhor. Não dá, não dá pra ficar. Vida se completam com a lua e o sol. Eu adoro a vida se completam com a lua e o sol. Vida se completam. Okay, so uh, hopefully you heard that and you heard what I was hearing and that's the compression or the compressors doing their job. Like when he goes, you soul, he kind of drops out without Neutron 2, but with Neutron 2, doesn't drop out. There's kind of a, a little bit of makeup gain happening or at least some gain matching happening between the louder and quieter parts of the track. And that's why there are two compressors here that both been activated. Uh, the EQ has just given me a boost in the higher end, a little bit of boost on the low end. And again, some of the trouble frequencies in vocals we have some dynamic EQs on here to get rid of them when the pr trouble frequencies are overpowering the signal itself and then we have the exciter so I know I've been saying over and over again throughout this tutorial series that I really wanted to just let the track assistant and Melodyne and RX just do their own thing without me interfering at all to see how close we could get but I actually think it's added too much to the exciter here it's it's I like the cleaner version of it so if we go ahead and listen and I'm gonna pull down the mix this is actually the mix for the entire module each one of the bands inside of this module has a mix knob the blend knob right here or the blend slider I guess and you can see it's at 60% and there's a there's about an 8.2 decibel boost for the drive down here and we're on a warm and over here it's on a kind of tape style uh, at 4.2 decibels but I'm just gonna pull down on here I might actually end up turning it completely off but I just want to see the difference here vida se completam com a lua e o sol eu adoro amar você não há nada melhor não dá não dá pra ficar vida se completam com a lua e o sol eu adoro amar você não há nada melhor Okay, so that sounds a lot better. Let's listen to a different part of the track just to make sure everything sounds good. É assim que eu me sinto longe do seu amor. Como enganar um coração tão ligado nesse amor? Como viver a minha vida 
So it does sound better. It, uh, it sounds fuller and it sounds more upfront, and that's really what it's supposed to do on the vocal track in terms of what Neutron Advance is supposed to do. Some things I would do right now outside again i'm trying to leave it just to the track assistant but i would roll off some of this seriously low end because there is some presence there if you check out the spectrum so this part right here is actually where the fundamental is on his voice but i mean everything below 100 really doesn't need to be there so i'm actually gonna just just bring it over not up to 100 but maybe up to around 60 hertz just to get rid of it just to make it extra special extra clean and we can't really notice it unless we're going to crank up the volume and you have nice speakers or nice headphones. But there is uh, low frequencies there, and I'm just getting rid of them. So when I put in the guitar, I can have those frequencies inside of the guitar or maybe some strings or something like that. Just cleaning up the area down there without affecting the overall appearance of the vocal is just something I like to do. That's pretty much it. That vocal is ready to go. And the next thing I would do, just kind of continuing on, would be to select the channel, control D to duplicate it, and then jump back in here and delete Neutron. And then right click this and freeze and flatten this track so I have, again, a copy at each stage of the process. I have a copy of the vocal itself. So I'm not gonna, I can always go back and change in different spots. If maybe I didn't like the pitch correction, I can go back to just that stage uh, along the way. And it's just a good process to have that, a good workflow idea when you're gonna be processing vocals, especially in a, an important project, you know what I mean? So it's frozen, right click, flatten, and there we go. And we just gotta rename it, maybe final version, you know, final. version and that should be it i'm going to go ahead and clean uh, take that off and close it down and now we have the final version and then the last thing i would do is go ahead and drop a nice reverb on a return track so i'm going to put pro r on there fab filter pro r and just you know find a nice vocal preset um I kind of, this is just going to be a vocal and a guitar for the main mix of this track. So I'm going to go large and maybe vocal hall bright and just see how it sounds. I'm going to go ahead and send it over there. Sem teu jeito sedutor, não dá mais pra segurar, tô viciado em você. Você já sabe que eu, eu sou o seu amor. And that's it. This vocal gold room. I did go to a medium size. Large was a little bit too large in my opinion, but the vocal gold room inside of Pro R sounds phenomenal in this set of vocals. And we've gone through the whole thing. We've gone from the original. Let's go ahead and listen to the original just for a second. É assim que eu me sinto longe do seu amor. Como me enganar um coração tão ligado nesse amor. Como viver a minha vida sem teu jeito sedutor? Não dá mais pra segurar, tô viciado em você. Você já sabe. And it sounds ready to go. There's a lot of people out there that say, you know, the track assistant in Neutron is you know, cheating or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters when producing is the final product. And 2017 was a killer year for plugins that do almost all of the work for you right out of the gate. Melodyne, RX, Neutron. It's just been a crazy year for tools that do most of the work for you. And the results can't be disputed. Okay, this sounds phenomenal. If I sent this back to the client, they would be super pumped about it. 
And I wouldn't have to say, hey, I just let the plugins do the work. They don't care. <laughs> it sounds phenomenal in the end, and that's all that matters. All right, so there we go. Vocals before. After. No seu calor. Incredible. And again, you watched it, you saw, you heard. It was all automated processes. The track assistant, RX6 doing its thing automatically. Melodyne 4 moving those into perfect pitch. Wow. If you listened to the whole project, you would hear how much work was done. And remember, throughout this tutorial series, I was hands off. I only used automated processes like the track assistant and the pitch correction for Melodyne 4. RX6, I was just using the, the preset from the module without even choosing a different preset, just the stock default preset for each one of those modules, and it cleaned it up so perfectly. So as I said before, in this industry, no one cares about your process. They only care about results. And with these plugins, the results speak for themselves, right? Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.